while I've been doing this exhibition, so many people come up to me and say, oh, I love the Rossettis when I was a teenager. Um, but also I come from Birmingham and um, when I used to meet my boyfriend, mm -hmm. I used to meet him in the art gallery because it was free. And I eventually <laughs> I looked at the paintings. Um, so <laughs> it, it, all, it all started there. So I've wanted to do the show my whole career. So just taking it back to the Rossettis full stop, could you just tell us who they are? Well, they were a really extraordinary family. They were encouraged to write poetry, make art, discover their own voices from a very young age. And particularly Christina and, and Gabriel went on to sort of make huge sea changes to British culture. Well, they're interested in was exploring human stories sure. and in particular stories about love and not necessarily romantic, rosy love, but love in all its complications and contradictions. Mm. It's actually a portrait of the artist's sister. So Dante Gabriel Rossetti has painted his sister here as the Virgin Mary, and the whole room is devoted to Christina uh, and particularly to her poetry. Christina was hugely successful mm -hmm. from quite a young age. In fact, she published her first poems at 16. Wow. Um, whereas Gabriel very much um, worked in private, and even now, Christina is better known than her brother. This is the third hero of the show, mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth Siddle, but she married Gabriel, in fact, so she was Elizabeth Rossetti okay. for the last two years of her life. She's perhaps most famous for posing for Ophelia, but what we wanted to do here in this show was take her out of that frame of Ophelia mm -hmm. and reveal to people that she was a working class woman who set out to be a painter and a poet, which is an amazing thing, you know, both her, uh, her gender and her class sort of made that um, really a courageous thing. Sure. And this is her, um, perhaps her masterpiece. Not only was she a successful artist, sold most of her work, but also she was an artist that influenced Gabriel as well as Gabriel influencing her. Sure. Uh, what I actually find quite interesting is just the relatability. I think some of the, the topics coming up, love and relationships and you know, sort of struggles and, and things like that. Yeah, I mean, most of the things we've been looking at, things in the exhibition, mm -hmm. are done by sort of teenagers or yeah. people in their early 20s. Yeah. And so it's no surprise that the stories they're telling are about falling in love with someone your parents don't approve of or um, um, your lover betraying you in some way yeah. um, or sort of struggling against authority. I think they're incredibly relatable no, uh, stories and very human stories. Yeah, for sure. And such great hair. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, <laughs>